Hey everyone, it's Claire. This is Small Joyful Things. As always, I go to thrift sales, uh, I go to thrift stores and estate sales and garage sales and a bunch more places and I look for small things that make me happy and I find out everything that I can about them and then I make videos telling you guys about them. So here we go. Today I've got a twofer for you. And what I have is this and this. I have a set. <laughs> So these are basically exactly the same. So I'm just going to measure them off. This is about, I want to say six and a quarter inches high. And about three and a half inches wide at the widest part. Okay, so, so what are these? These are obviously a, a set. They're two almost exactly the same. And uh, you actually line them up. The red one is slightly, very, very slightly higher. I'll just use my ruler again, you can see. Like it's maybe only like two millimeters higher, it's incredibly, incredibly small. Like the difference is very, very slight. And they are not exactly the same, I don't want to say. I think there are very, very tiny differences in the in the rings as well. Now, question is, are these hand blown or not? I cannot tell. I have looked them over so many times. I think they probably are, but I can't be sure. The bottom has been polished and ground away. I just, just from kind of looking at it, I have a suspicion that they're actually blown into a glass mold. Um, but there are no mold lines that I can see. They've all just been either, they've all either been removed or quite well, or, <laughs> or they're hand-blown. So I'm afraid that that's going to have to remain a mystery. Either way, these are amazingly high quality. They're just lovely, lovely, lovely vases. And where did I get them from? These were part of a lot of old glassware I bought from a guy for 20 bucks <laughs> off Craigslist. Um, so. I have them here right now because these were actually in the box to ready to be brought to the thrift store because these are essentially just two, well, well I mean, when I initially looked at them, I said, well, these just look like two modern glass vases. They're kind of pretty. I'm sure someone's really going to like them. Um, but generally modern stuff does not have enough of a story for me to kind of, you know, do much with it. And I, I like vintage things, not just because they're kind of uh, not because they might be more valuable or whatever, but because they are more likely to actually have a story to tell just from being around longer. So I'm afraid to say that these were in the box to go back to the thrift store. Um, you know, where hopefully someone would find them and love them. And they are here right now because I found out by chance that they are actually, they are actually older than they look. So in my iPad. And here you go. The exact two phases. Okay, so so what's the deal with these? Well, the deal with these is that these are actually Anchor Hawking, our good friends Anchor Hawking, the masters of mid-century <laughs> glassware of all kinds. Now, these are actually the, the ring vase type. They're apparently a very well-known Anchor Hawking pattern that you will see. They are somewhat collectible, you know, I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm not sure if people kind of, under, you know, always know what they are. Now, this one is in the forest green pattern. This one is Royal Ruby. And they have no mark or anything on the base, so they completely threw me. <laughs> they, they look for all intents and purposes, like exactly like a, a modern, you know, vase. Now that said, they are very, very lovely. And just by inspecting them very closely, I would suspect that like, like just even simple things, like you can run your finger across the top there, you feel that slight bump that suggests, oh, maybe this is hand blown. Maybe this is something interesting. Like there is a, there is an amazing quality in this. And anyway, from research or whatever, I found that these are actually would have been made in like the 1950s. You know, these are actually quite a bit older than, than they look. And considering, like again, they're in perfect, perfect condition. They have some wear at the base. They have that ring that old glass kind of gets if it's been, you know, if it's been moved around a bit, it gets a kind of a, you can almost see it on the camera there. That little bit of worn, that worn ring on the base where it would have actually sat on the, on the shelf. 
bohuen have it. The green one, I think, is where it's more obvious. But either, even though, like, what an amazing, dis amazing surpri surprise and what a discovery. I literally just spotted a photo of these when I was doing research for another vase that I had that it just happens to be green and likely anchor hawking. And I saw a picture of these two and I thought, wait a minute, that looks familiar. I think I just put those into the box to go back to a thrift store. And I ended up taking these, fishing them out and looking at them more closely. And I thought, wow, they actually are. Like, everything is correct for them. They have the right the right shade of, of green and red like the the right kind of shape and everything in the rings like it's a really lovely surprise I'm really kind of in, like I really like that so I'm happy to say that these will not be going to a thrift store I hope that they will be going to a collector who likes them I'll be putting them both up on eBay probably for cheap there's a lot of people who can sell these but I mean they're so they're so quite they're still quite nice that is just a really it's just a really happy little moment that like oh hey the thing that you thought was just wasn't anything no it's actually here you go they're vintage and they've got a story to tell you and they've got a like a a, a place and they came from a much older time than you than you thought i just i like that that's kind of a little surprise that really makes me feel good so <laughs> these are my small joyful objects my fold my small joyful things for today um i hope that you like them very much so Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.